Christian and jacked up. We're going to interview Finley first. Finley, how excited are you for this matchup with Benita? I'm so pumped. We're going to do so good. Make sure you come out and support our Eagles. A little bit more excitement. As you can see, the band's having some fun as they get set to take on Uligan. We'll have all the highlights coming up tonight on the Big Six at 10 o'clock. In Wagner, Dan Hawk, Oklahoma's home. News on Six Sports. Jonathan, back to you. He finally got a sack. Justin Wright got a fumble recovery and also an interception. Why was he so effective on defense? The work that our team is putting in right now. Every time we stepped on the practice field, we're taking that as an opportunity to continue to get better. Yeah, Jonathan, the drillers understand that their backs are up against the wall in this matchup with Wichita, and it's a win or go home situation. Even with all that's at stake, they're taking this series one game tonight. We're at Booker T High School. Look at this student section. They're jammed and ready for this matchup this week. It's time to give out the spirit stick because they're wrapped up in Hornet country. Who wants the stick? Who wants the stick? Our Dan Hawk is live at the home of the Spartans who put that long winning streak on the line. Dan. That's exactly right, Jonathan. Bixby looking to pick it up to 56 wins on the year. And the Tigers were looking to rebound and hopefully pick up a win against this squad. Remember the last time these two faced one another, the Tigers won in 2013. Let's get right into the highlights in this one. Bixby was on a mission tonight against Broken Arrow. First quarter, Connor Kirby with the quarterback keeper goes into the end zone. That makes it 7-0 Sparty. It's been called the city that never sleeps, or the Big Apple. And former ORU catcher Jose Trevino has stepped into the spotlight and staked his claim as a new king of New York. Jogging out here for warm-ups is different. You know, the crowd loves baseball. Uh, the crowd loves their Yankees, and the crowd loves winning here, and it's been awesome. Ever since the Rangers traded him to New York back in April, Trevino has become a leader for the Yankees' defense and as an all-star, batting near 300 and already setting a new career high for home runs in a season. I credit it to my teammates and the coaching staff. Uh, they've made this very comfortable for me. You know, a lot of people come to New York, and they, it's tough, you know, tough to adapt at first, uh, but these guys made it real comfortable for me. But getting to the limelight in Gotham hasn't been easy for Jose. He went undrafted coming out of high school and even wanted to give up on the game when his father Joe passed away after a long illness during Jose's junior season at ORU. But those challenges made him the player and the person he is today. Those guys were, were there for me through a lot of stuff. Um, and they helped me. They helped me grow as a player. They helped me grow as a, as a man. And at a young age, I was told, you know, winning, winning is everything. Uh, when I was at Oral Roberts, winning was everything. Uh, so I think I've been instilled with this. Playing small college baseball paved the way for former ORU Golden Eagle Jose Trevino. But it was a family dream that made him a Yankee. There will be times where I'm driving down the road and I'm like, man, I can't believe, like, he always told me I was going to be a Yankee. I can't believe I'm playing in Yankee Stadium. Uh, and I mean, it, it, it stinks obviously that he's not here with us, but uh, I feel like he's got a good seat. Even with the glitz and glamour of being in New York and being a Yankee, Jose will never forget his time in Tulsa. And when I stepped foot at Oral Roberts, I told them, hey, I'm, I'm coming for three years. I want to be prepared. I want to be, I want to be a Major League Baseball player. And they looked at me in the eyes and they said, all right, we're going to prepare you. We're going to have you. Uh, we're going to have you where you want to be. Just like the great Derek Jeter once said, my office is at Yankee Stadium. Yes, dreams do come true. And that's true for Jose Trevino. At Yankee Stadium, Dan Hawk, Oklahoma Zone, News on Six Sports. Shadow boxing is one of the toughest workouts for any fighter. Let it go, let it go, let it go. A boxer spends hours working on footwork, hand placement, and punch locations all while building physical stamina. All part of a daily routine for Brianna Correa. It's, it's just motivating, man. Like, it really is. Like, working with all these people that are just, that you know are going places, you know? Like, it makes you want to just work as hard as they do, you know? Like, if not outwork them, you know? Like, it's, it's real humbling, man. It really is. These training sessions are totally different from her early life growing up in Fort Worth, when she would use those skills to defend herself from bullies. I really wouldn't know where I'd be. I was fighting in the streets and stuff like that. Um, I was fighting boys and girls, you know, so he was like, just, just do something with your talent or whatever. So we went to a gym, ended up liking it, and I ended up sticking with it. Now she has a 19-3 and record in the ring. 
and has her sights set on something even bigger. Man, I want to accomplish everything there is to accomplish, man. I want to go to the Olympics. When you have something like this to look forward to and stuff like that, like it gives you something to work for. It gives you something to, to just get up in the morning. It just, it just gives you a different type of motivation, you know, to do right. In Tulsa, Dan Hawk, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6 Sports. <laughs>